Mr. Goldstein sent me an email that begins with the words, quote, Perhaps we should have discussed what it meant to be an accompanist to start with, but I think it's best we get it flat now. And ends with the words, quote, If you can't do the job, please tell me immediately. Again, he doesn't get it at all. It is bizarre. And clearly, Mr. Goldstein was not relying on me to fulfill my contract, as you state. This was 16 days before opening night. It is unheard of for a director to ask his accompanist to quit. If I'm not cutting it, replace me. But that's not the case. He even compliments my playing. For an accompanist to walk out on a show less than a week before opening night, under ordinary circumstances, with us actually getting work done, would have been disastrous. Mr. Goldstein had a friend he wanted to give the job to. He had done this before. He had lined it up already. He wanted me gone. If nothing else, I think you should know what the disagreement was about, what I had done to deserve to be put in this position, and what Mr. Goldstein thinks it means to be an accompanist, because he doesn't have a clue. To agree that is, again, absolutely, mind-blowingly bizarre. Very briefly, in lieu of scheduling the musical rehearsals as he was required to do, Mr. Goldstein was requiring me to give free private lessons to one of your students, which he knows is what I do for a living. He said that me giving private lessons to your students was included in my, quote, practice. He also, after offering me 20 to $25 per hour, with the shows paying more than the rehearsals, told me that the shows would pay $16.66. When I held him to the lowest pay he had offered, $20, but explained that I couldn't go below that, he essentially accused me of gouging him and said that since he had agreed to that, that I would get no less than $20 an hour, since he had agreed to that, he was therefore requiring me to work for less than $20 an hour. Obviously. No less than $20 an hour means less than $20 an hour. I agreed to it, so now you've got to work for less. <clears throat> Not kidding, sir. I've got the email. I need you to read it. Breaches of contract left and right. He also tells me that the cast must sing on top of an amplified rock band with no microphones because it's impossible to have microphones and because Singers can't sing over a piano. Again, not kidding. He then did the show with microphones. So, let's discuss what it does mean to be an accompanist. As I am a professional in a field which Larry neither, know, neither knows nor cares anything about, and a field in which the Larry Goldsteins of the world are never, ever tolerated. So, let's get this flat now, once and for all. 